right in that place where you and I activate community. It doesn't just happen to us. You see, I, I really know this because I got up and transplanted from Africa to America and I arrived here with no community and I had to do Some. to activate a sense of community. I was remembering that and looking back at the things I had to do and how they unfolded over time yeah, and after some of the things I developed, I was thinking about how one of my best friends in the whole world, we have a standing um, Saturday night Thai food date. I mean, you know, it's flexible, but it's almost a ritual. And we go to the oh, Thai the ten near the Flamingo Hotel, and we go there every Saturday night like clockwork. And the thing is that the staff there know us by name now, and they greet us when we come in, and they know what it is we're likely to order, and they probably sometimes bring it before we even sit down, and they know the details yeah, of our and who's not well and I was just thinking about that and realizing how much value I place on that a place to be recognized and known a place of dependability and regularity there's something there that feeds me I live with my family of origin and I don't live in a village like in Bali so activating community for me has had to be a conscious choice that I get to make and part of that choice involves showing up and part of that choice involves doing something often that is outside on because you know I'm shy actually it, and it takes some time for me you know so I've been looking I've got communities within communities uh, for example the place where I work out um, I try to say hello to the staff it's uncomfortable for me but I do that or the um, restaurants I go to I try to learn the names of people that's uncomfortable but I try that or um, the, the social friends I have on my calendar to actually be with them that's uncomfortable because I'm busy but I try that or the yoga class I attend I, I try to be regular and that's uncomfortable because sometimes I've got other things and so on and I see that all of these different and communities different levels of deepness for me that correspond to what I put into it and I'm noticing that key that building community goes along with this willingness to step beyond my comfort zone oh it's so much easier to drive home and open the automatic garage door and get inside and deep deep hide gone turn on the TV <sighs> and it's helped me to realize yeah I knew I am really the architect of my own experience of community at least a good portion of it certainly my internal experience of it and there really are two sides to it you know the benefit that I receive from being in community and also the other part that I am part of the community and, and what I bring to the community without which the community couldn't s exist. There's that part too. In fact, one of the readings in the, in the journal, you may remember, talks to that. It says a community is more than the people in it. It's something that reaches beyond the individuals who make it up. However, each individual in the community contributes something unique and indispensable and it occurred to me but how will we know that if you're living in isolation how will we know our wholeness if you don't bring yourself to the community and it occurred to me also that right here at the center for spiritual living we have this wonderful opportunity to practice community you know if it's too scary out there in the world I was thinking about if you've ever facilitated or hosted or participated in an empowerment group raise your hand well, so then you know what that's like to be expected and supported and to show up for it or if ever you've um, um, been a volunteer as an usher or the hospitality crew or on the sound crew or some kind of volunteer capacity or a youth church teacher raise your hand so now you know already what it's like to be counted on to be expected to know what your name is to be an integral part or it could be any one of the ministries like our man spirit ministry our woman spirit ministry which is signing up right now or or our teens or there's any number of places where, where you can be part and start to taste 
that experience of being expected, of known, of being wanted, of being cared for, and at the same time bringing your gift. There's another reading I'd like to share with you too. It says, Community is important to us because it is through community that we activate our oneness. Now, another way of saying that is this. It's through community that we activate our sense of the divine. One of the ways that we come to know God is through our experience of community. What a thing. A wonderful thing for us to consider. Where in my life is my community? And what am I bringing into it? So I invite you to follow that thought with me and to take it into prayer as we breathe in together and exhale. As we enter the consciousness of prayer in which each one of us, according to our own method, begins to become aware of our best idea of the divine, the intelligence that governs the universe, the presence, life itself. We start with the largest idea that we can, so large that we can feel it even embrace our own lives. That mind of God from which all things draw their existence, from which all beings grow. The life that animates the animal kingdom, the plant kingdom, all rocks, minerals, trees, everything and all people from the same source. And it is through this prayer then that I, we, are evoking in us our awareness of our place in that kingdom of all things. As we begin to remember together that this is our home, and not only is it our home, that we belong here in a vital and powerful way. And that our love is essential to the full expression of all life. We are remembering that together and in a tender way understanding that we do not have to create this love inside of us. We came preloaded with it. And so that r relief in knowing that as we are naturally right now is exactly the right ingredient for an expression of full life. And it is through the evocation of this idea then that we start to open the channels in our being for love and we let ourselves be guided by this awareness from within. So we think clearly, choose wisely, act appropriately. So that in everything that we do and say and think, we become just beautifully harmonized to the nature of reality. So I'm giving thanks for what that is doing now in my awareness and for the movement of this prayer. I'm remembering also that none of this comes about because I willed it so. But instead, according to the spiritual laws that govern the universe. And so I relax. And I simply move into quiet, silent acceptance. I invite you to let the next breath you take be deeper than the one before. As we use the movement of the breath to build our bridge to our next activity in our service, which is the sharing of our resources. And as we do this, I invite the ushers to come to the sta to stand <laughs> and the musicians to come to the stage and for you to take your gift in your hand so we can bless our giving together by actively joining and sharing these words. I bless this gift. I send it forth to heal and prosper. It does good work in the world and blesses creation. Ushers, please receive the gift. Thank you. 